come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready or not, because... Are you ready, Colin? No. <laughs> I was trying to... I was going to mix are, it up. You uh, are not a pod god. <laughs> that's not anymore. Not the pod gods. <laughs> pod yeah. demigod now. We downgraded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for listening to this exciting episode. You are about to hear from the internet radio superstar. Michaela. Sean. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by... Holly. Me. Where did we go tonight? Tonight... Well, last week we went to the ocean. I was going to say, we're, th- we were, we're spending we're a nice, themed. We were spending a nice summer day on top, on the, of, the on top of the ocean. And today we went beneath the ocean. Oh, How boy. Deep. Deep Star Six. That does sound, that does sound like this, that is like a DEF CON 4. We're yeah. going Deep Star Six. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> well, like I was saying last week, you know, we had obviously in the news, there's been a lot of um, talk about. Underwater movies. Let's talk about let's talk about <laughs> underwater movies. <laughs> um, and people kept asking me, like, oh, are you going to do Titanic? You can do The Abyss. And I was like, you clearly have never listened to our show. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's too on We brand. don't do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, we already did the, what was it? The circle? What was that? Sphere. The sphere. The sphere. Oh, the sphere. The sphere. Circle. Yeah. We already did Sphere, which Could've is done like. Deep Rising. Yeah. yeah. Someone did say, oh, you should do Sphere. I was like, we, we already, already did, did that. Yep. <laughs> You're welcome. I just That's think right. of Queen Latifah and those jellyfish. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Like, she said that like 30 times. That's <laughs> Well, there was, go back there and listen some, to our episode. There were some good jellyfish in this one. That's yeah. true. Little, little yeah, paper ones. Yeah, yeah, little few ones. Yeah. They were helpful jellyfish, I would they say. They were. <laughs> they were like, if I imagine if like a nursery was like ocean themed mm-hmm. and they had like a mobile with jellyfish, yes. that's what they that's would do. That's kind of what it was, yes. Right? yes. Like that landed yeah. on yeah. there. But they, the like, they operated like a video game mechanic to reveal the quest item you're looking for. Like yes. they all fly <laughs> off of it at once and it's like, oh, there's the thing we were looking for. There it is, glowing. That's pretty cool. What year was Deep Star 6? Made. So it was in the magical year of underwater movies. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. 1989. Mm-hmm. And following the years of space movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's yeah. true. Is, I want to ask you guys, what's which would you prefer, being underwater in an environment like this or in space in an environment like this? Is which one space? is scarier? Difference? Well, I mean, technically, there's a lot of similarities, yeah. which is yeah. why this works in space and underwater. But... I, w- I would say space because if anything goes wrong, you're instantly dead. That's yeah. going to be instantaneous. Yeah. Yeah. Underwater's too away. unknown. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, so we know more about outer space than we know about the ocean, which is right. fucked up. That's well, I'd, I'd, I'd rather yeah. be gone in a second than be yeah. like, oh, I'm going to drown now. Yeah. Or get eaten by this thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drowning death is not good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, we we just don't know enough about the ocean because it's yeah. so much more difficult for us to explore. So mm. and that's As why like, come to find that, out. that's why the ocean and space are like equally fascinating yeah. to me. Yeah. Yes. They're so unknown. That's yes. why the UFOs are in the ocean, you guys. <laughs> space is in the I ocean. saw that movie. Yeah. It came out the same year it as this sure one. Did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, so who is this? That's not more conspiracy theorist for <laughs> Michaela. Like, they're there, guys. I'm just saying, man. You just can't see them. It's like signs when you're just like, the light Lights are gone, but they're still there. You're telling me that, like, aliens underwater didn't just give orcas the signal to go off on this, like, like they're they, the first, they told them, one right? They're the first, they're the first yeah, line. They're like, all right, unleash the orcas. Them. Yeah, like, that's 100%. their attack dogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, there you go. Yeah. Like, and they were waiting for a signal, and they got it, and now they're yeah. on their rampage, so. <laughs> well, who knew? Orcas were the hellhounds of aliens. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. And so far, I'm on their team. So that should I am or- Orca two, on their team. Orca two, Alien Hellhound. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Copyright 2023. This is the uh, Unleash the Dude, Kraken. Yeah. This is uh, you see Aquaman. Aquaman like uh, foretold all this stuff. Yeah. Right. Hey, you I'm keep good. wanting Aquaman to be a thing. Right. Yeah, think, it's not happening. No. Aqu- Stop trying to make Aquaman away. happen, Colin. It's yeah. not happening. Uh, who directed Deep Star Six? Sean Cunningham. Who would we know? How would we know Sean Cunningham? I would hope you know him from Friday the Thirteenth. There you go. So this is a stretch, is it? Sean Cunningham actually did have like a career doing like uh, as a director outside of Friday the 13th. He did, um, he did some comedy, some like horror comedy, but specific, like some sex comedies. Yeah. Huh. Yes, yeah. He did. And then yeah. uh, the new kids, remember? The, the new, new kids. kids and, yeah. Spring break. Uh, spring break was yeah. his. Yeah. 
and uh, House. Let's not forget House. Uh, oh, how can we forget? House, yeah. I thought it was House 4. No, well, he directed House, and then he produced all the House movies. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Yeah. Um, I keep forgetting that he directed House. Yeah, I know. So this is basically from the creative team of House. I liked House. There you go. <laughs> uh, so, I surprisingly liked House. I didn't think I would. I is this a, is this a Strangers Watching, Spring Break, The New Kids, Deep Star Six, Yeah. Terminal Invasion. Yep. Trapped It was a sci-fi movie. I think that was an anthology movie. He did Ooh. a segment of, an, of Trapped we Ashes. We do like anthologies here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With Mick Garris, I think, was also involved in that one. A couple other directors. Did, he didn't direct House. Yeah, the original. Oh, Steve Miner. You're right. Steve Miner. That's, that's, that's what I thought. That's what I was going to say. Steve yeah, Miner is the thought. one in here. I was going to say, like, he didn't direct House. Steve Miner. Because right. I almost said Steve thought was thinking of Steve Miner movies when we were talking about yeah. Sean Cunningham. Okay, I'm sorry about Fucking that. Fucking knew it. Yep. Colin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he directed House 4, though. No, he, he did not. He produced it. all he four produced, of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I, uh, I take that back. So, um, I mean, it's from the director of Friday the 13th. It sure is. It's kind of, uh, he's got a budget this time and a cast of, million, uh, of folks. Yeah, $9 million they pulled this uh, movie off for. Yeah. Um, Not bad. A lot, of, a lot of miniature model work. Maybe you talk to Cameron. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the, <laughs> the so there's going to be some comparisons here. Uh, right? I would say so. Okay, so what was In the Water in 1989? Uh, in the Water in 1989, we had a few things. We had Leviathan. Mm. The Evil Below, Lords of the Deep, and of course, The Abyss. And The Rift. Was that, the was 80, that was the next year. Oh, okay. That, was, right. 80, that was 90. The only yeah. ones I remember going to theaters were Leviathan, Deep Star Six. Deep Star Six was the first one. Mm-hmm. And then like a month yeah. later, you that got That should be noted Leviathan. that this was the first of the group to be released. Yeah. And yeah. then Cameron in August was, uh, was The not. Abyss. He was especially not happy because one of the writers was Louis Abernathy. And Friend they were his. they were friends. Mm. Mm-hmm. And he was and Cameron was basically like, please don't release your movie first. Really? Yeah. yeah. And he was like, ah, fuck it, we're doing it anyway. And um, yeah, they were in like a big rift for years until Titanic, I think, Louis patched Abernathy things up. helped him do like the underwater stuff for like the Titanic footage. Yeah, he's in Titanic. He is in Titanic, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, that's wild, right? So it's yeah. like you know, Jim was <laughs> telling him about like, oh yeah, I got this movie. It's an underwater movie. It's like that's a good idea. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is obviously inspired by aliens, right? This is yeah. uh, yes. Like, what year was aliens? Eighty six. Eighty six. Okay. But I mean, you know, I mean that movie. You know, he's still. I don't know. He's so still like they feel... literally saw aliens and then like, oh, next. <laughs> yeah. Like immediately started writing this movie. <laughs> Monsters in a spaceship, but that's a cliche. Let's what about under the, the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> at the bottom of the exactly. ocean. So three movies. Well, I mean, Cameron's wasn't, I guess, Aliens Underwater, but Leviathan right. and uh, uh, Deep Star Six kind of are. Yeah. Yes. A monster, underwater monster movie. Um, Do you know Lords of the Deep? I have not seen that one. Okay, I don't was know. Was that a Roger Corman one? I think so. I don't know much about that one. Because he was like, we got to get this out. I don't know if yeah. that played like across the country. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know much about that one. <laughs> Um. All right. So, um, we're going underwater. We're inspired yeah. by aliens. We're yeah. doing uh, uh, astronauts on the moon, except for they're mm-hmm. at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. So, what's uh, so who's in it, and what are we doing? <laughs> what is Deep Star Six? <laughs> what's the title? <laughs> <laughs> okay, calm down with your question. All right, <laughs> one at a time, Colin. Okay. Okay. Deep Star Six is an underwater research vessel. Okay, aren't they all? Aren't they uh, all? Yeah. Research and also like construction because they're putting together. Um, uh, they're basically making a missile silo. Yes, or it's a sled. But I don't know what they mean by that. A missile sled is what they're trying to I install think that, in this I area. I think it seemed to me that this is a U.S. Navy project yeah. to yes. put it, missiles on the bottom of the ocean and like, launch like from it's the... Like yes. a, it's like a launch pad, like yes. a missile yeah. launch pad. Okay, that's yeah. what I was getting. I'm just like, they're setting this up so they can launch missiles. So we don't know yeah. where in the ocean this is, but I assume it's somewhere close to Russia. Where somewhere it can, close to Russia. It can reach <laughs> the Russia coast of Alaska. <laughs> in 1989. <laughs> um, okay, and uh, so Deep Star 6 is, de- is this... Big station down at the mm-hmm. bottom. What was the Leviathan? They were, I can't remember. They were, were they drilling? Uh, the Abyss, they were drilling. Third, right? Yeah. Uh, and this underwater station looks a lot like that one. Well, <laughs> they all do. You yeah, know, you they, get do. The, they do. There's yeah. an aesthetic that is kind of consistent throughout these things. But I think the big difference is like when you watch the Abyss, I mean, that's the multi million dollar one. They actually 
shot in an underwater tank, so it feels like you're underwater. Mm-hmm. Um, that is cool. Mm-hmm. It's scary. But cool. yes. Well, yeah. actually, no. I think Leviathan is also a smoke room, which I think is how Hollywood like kind of you know cheats water. It's blue, uh. blue lights, and a uh, room full of smoke, and everybody is like under cranked, so they look mm-hmm. like they're you know Moving they way slower. more yeah mm-hmm. um but okay who's uh who's 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 on this uh, vessel at the bottom of the ocean mcbride <laughs> <laughs> what's his first name you'll never know we'll n- <laughs> never know no never he doesn't know you're gonna whole construction no crew down here I the don't... love of his life and mother of his future child does not know his yeah first this name. was a whole subplot i was not expecting from this movie but Don't think I needed it. I didn't need well, it. it gave, uh, this is like the 80s. You had to do this. This was mm-hmm. part of, part did, of movies back yeah, I know. then. Did they like think that we just didn't value regular human life? That yeah. babies yes. had to be in danger too? Well, right. and they give a romance Not even subplot. Babies, so fetuses. it's like the guy has to save the, you know, the, the woman, woman. And she's pregnant. So, yep. There's the future. Their futures, you know. Got to save the future. Yeah. The, the, Instead of fighting or the fight future. the future, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we're gonna, I mean, we're gonna get to it, but there's a scene when it's like revealed because she like get, she the doctor's checking her out after an incident, <laughs> and you hear this like heartbeat, but it's like an irregular sounding heartbeat, mm-hmm. and they're like, "What? What was that? That was our baby." Mm-hmm. I immediately yeah. went to. She's got an alien in her. I did too. <laughs> She's got I a too. sea alien in her. I was all stoked. I'm like, oh like, shit, Ooh. she's oh. infected. Oh, not that interesting. And I was like, oh god damn it. <laughs> no, Prometheus did do that, and it, that was the best scene probably in that movie. If, if they had cut to like uh, alien baby. Uh, eight months later, and they're just like sea alien baby, and then cut. <laughs> that'd have been good. Um, okay, so McBride. I, at one point, uh, the captain called him Mac. And I'm like, oh, the thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they, yeah. Ne- they never did that again. Yeah. It was no. McBride for the rest of the movie. And yeah. yeah, he has no first name that we know. <laughs> do, you think is- it was, do you think, Ali, you know, in PG-13 movies, you can say one fuck? Can you say one Mac before John Carpenter one gets Mac. on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, because all your movie. I did, there's a lot. Of, I think a lot of these movies, you know, like, what do you included, do in Cunningham? <laughs> well, they all kind of you guys have seen the old the old thing, the 1950s. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's like the template for all of these things. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're on the. You're okay. trapped somewhere. It's a station. There's a bunch of people who, you know, some of them get along and some of them don't. Right, but oh. there's usually a hierarchy of power because yep. it's usually government related. So somebody's got to report to somebody else. And they yep. usually kind of have a blue collar vibe about them. Yep. They're just space slash underwater truckers. You yeah, know, that's, so. yeah. And they're just co-workers. They don't particularly care for each other. Why but, do we right. not yep. have an, a movie called Underwater Truckers? <laughs> yeah. I know we have space truckers. Yeah. I mean, thanks Which we did on the show. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Deep sea truckers. Deep sea truckers. Deep sea truckers. We, we need deep sea truckers. <laughs> Copyright 2020. Oh my God. <laughs> Discovery's going to come knocking at your door for that one. Is there a horror movie called The Rig that's set on a, I think there is. Probably, yeah. Um, Okay, so Mac uh, McBride is Greg Evigan, who, of course, we all remember from BJ and the Bear. Anyone? (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) How old do you think we are, Okay, Okay, I know the name. I know the name. Right. What is that? Yeah, it's but a, I have no a idea. TV what it show is. about BJ and the Bear. Right. Yeah. I think it was like because of, uh, I think it could be wrong, but you don't remember Clint Eastwood made that movie Any Which Way But Lose? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He made two of those. Yeah, he yeah. made two. Yeah, Any Which Way You Can. And yeah. so I think like that was the TV answer to like the oh, popularity wait, I, of. I didn't realize the bear was a monkey. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's yeah. not a bear? No. 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 Wow. Well, come on, you guys got to see this poster at work. Oh my oh, god. No. Why was Why this the lightning thing? Bolt? This is the show that inspired Nope. <laughs> uh, maybe. There you go. Uh, right? yeah. there this, it is, is. this is what made Nope happen. This TV show. There wow. It is. Uh, this poster, listeners, you gotta look up the BJ and the Bear poster. There's a monkey wearing a fedora, hugging a guy. <laughs> oh, There's a lightning bolt in the logo. What Somebody? was the last good like, monkey sidekick movie? Dunstan checks in. Uh, that was Orangutan. Wrong, that's true. Uh, what, wait, yes. Okay, what, the Matt and LeBlanc movie where, the, where he plays baseball. <laughs> Ed, Eddie, something like that. With the monkey, the monkey know. played baseball. Is that like MVP? No, most valuable primate. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, no, that's a legit movie. I know. That is I was say, it can't not be with that name. Might as well be. No, that was an old one. Yeah. 
uh, he was good also movie with him. Uh, no horrible movie. No, I was gonna say you're asking if there was ever a good movie. With him. No, I, don't, I don't think so. Right? Was there anything that we all Monkey enjoyed? Shines. Monkey shine. Monkey shine. Yeah, yeah Monkey we like Monkey shine. We all watched Dunstan show. checks Outbreak. in. Come on, yeah. Outbreak. Outbreak. Yeah. Fuck monkeys. Yeah. Outbreak. Outbreak. Yeah. Real great. <laughs> I mean, that monkey literally made that movie Ace happen. Ventura. So. Okay, I'll give you that. Because yeah. yeah. I think it's the same monkey as Outbreak. It is. That well, monkey was, was in everything. That monkey was great. Uh, Greg Evigan was also in My Two Dads, the show that made Paul Reiser. Anybody remember that one? Yes, I remember that. Re- and, uh, I and remember then, Paul Reiser built. And I think at some point on this show, when you guys uh, acted incredulous that William <laughs> Shatner had written a series of novels called Tech War. Yes. Oh, yeah. It was, yeah. It was yeah. Adopt, adapted into a TV show. Guess who starred in Tech War? Yes, oh, Greg no. Evigan. So well, that's the go. problem. Wow. <laughs> We can see why it didn't take off. Thank you, uh, Colin. Yeah, you're I'm welcome. Gonna, <laughs> just bringing it all yeah. back around. Yeah. Amazing. I'm, I'm going to say up front, this movie needs stars. There's not enough star power they, in this movie. Well, but I'm, gonna the, have to, I'm inclined to agree with yeah, you. Like, at the time, Louis Gossett Jr., I'm telling you. I reckon at the time that it came out, I did re- recognize most of the people. Well, all, some of the people who were in it. But know? are any of them famous for being leads? I feel like they're all no. famous for being side characters. Yeah. And that's uh, the problem. I mean, not, the Russian guy I've seen as a character actor for a long yeah, time. Yeah, all Elliot of these Baskin. people, it's, I'm like, oh, it's that guy. Oh, it's that It's that, that person's mom from that show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Nia Peoples, I know because she's on Pretty Little Liars Ooh. as a mom. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's a lucrative business as being a parent on the new gen- Ooh, new generation show. Get on the CW shows as a parent, you know, but paycheck for a decade, and yeah. and then you can go to conventions for the rest of your life and make money off that yeah. too. Yeah, well, not a bad gig. I'm I'm loving this. I'm loving this trend of like people we liked in the '90s that are now playing parents on yes. these shows. I'm loving. Yeah, it. I'm down for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Ski Ulrich, one of them. Yeah, on, yeah. When Luke Perry was on Riverdale, Luke Perry yeah. was on Riverdale. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite. Riverdale friend. drafted all those people. They really did. Yeah. But Pretty Little Liars did it first, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Miguel Ferrer is probably like the yeah. Uh, yeah. the biggest person that you yeah. know from the cast, yeah. I think. Um, I do like that Sean Cunningham includes um, the guy, I can't remember his name, who is the sheriff at the end of Friday the 13th. Yes. Yeah. He's, we didn't find any boys. Yeah, he's in this. Uh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> um Tom Bray uh, from the TV show Riptide. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Ooh, Riptide. No. Yeah. Okay. He was one. in. Uh, he was in Prince of Darkness. Um, he was one okay. of the students, or one of the technology guys in, in Prince okay. of Darkness. Um, who else is in this? Turian Black from mm-hmm. Hill Street Blues. Yes. Um, Elia Baskin, as you said, 2010. Anybody? 2010. He was in. He's always a Russian. 2010. <laughs> always um, a Russian. Always a Russian. Um. Don't do the cast. Uh, I, I wrote them down. I don't know who any of them are. But. Okay. Yeah. Cindy Pickett is Ferris Bueller's mom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Matt McCoy. You all know Matt McCoy because he yes. was on those AARP commercials. Is he the guy with the voice? <laughs> Like he's Wait, got a good voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's AAR, AARP commercials we're all familiar with. Um, no, uh, yeah, I was no, like, <laughs> and Matt McCoy or some kind of insurance. Well, I was like right? most of us haven't started getting those pamphlets. Yeah, yet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a it's a TV commercial. Liberty Somebody, Mutual. Yeah, uh, I don't really no, see it. Like, so. well, uh, well, no, it Colonial up. Pen. There it is. It might maybe. <laughs> well, okay, he was in Hand that Rocks the Cradle. Colonial Pen. Guy? He was. He's yeah. a new guy now. Okay. Is it Matt McCoy? Hannah Rocks Cradle, yes. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Man, and Abominable, right. the, the big, Bigfoot movie with Lance Henriksen. Oh, oh, I was going to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that a remake of the Have other Abominable? Have we not Abominable? watched that? No, we haven't. They like came out in the 2000s, and it was like a throwback oh. kind of oh, no. like slasher movie. But Matt McCoy is the lead dude in that. Is there something else that he was in that I'm missing? But... There's something I used to watch, see him in all... Like, he's been probably in a lot of TV. Yeah. Because I've seen him... Every now and again, he shows up over the years. It's like, oh yeah, that guy. Something in comedy, I would assume, just based on his. Yeah, his. Uh, yeah, he's kind of got. The, he, it feels like he's like a news anchor type when they put him in in a dramatic thing. Yes, you know he seems a little too upbeat. Nancy Everhard, the uh, the female lead, I did not recognize for anything. I don't oh. know what she, what else oh. she was. Uh, she in. gave me Cynthia Nixon vibes. Yeah, I can Cynthia see Nixon. that. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. A little bit of uh. what's her name from uh, um, the Mario Brothers movie. Jeez. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, she's been a lot of stuff too. So the, this constitutes the 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 crew yes. of Deep Star Six down here, and we are catching them uh, on. He was in Seinfeld. 
Yeah, that's he was, it. He was um. He was the Lloyd Braun. Lloyd wasn't Braun. He? Yeah. Oh that's yeah. yeah, that's it. That's right. That's, that's, right. that's yeah. where I've seen him. Yeah, I was like, I know I've I'm seen like, this. I'm like seeing something. that like yeah. cheese eating grin. Yeah. I'm like, where did I yep. fucking see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just saw him in that garage hanging up the phone. I'm yep. Like, oh! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we nailed it. So well, that's it's, it. Lloyd it's Braun. a cast of superstars. Everything comes back to Seinfeld. Sure. A lot of TV people. Um. Well, they're probably on like a on a budget. Well, we we know the budget. I mean, eight million dollars or nine million dollars is like yeah, that's for, a lot for what they were trying to pull off here. I mean, this is a fairly I don't know. Would you call it? I mean, for that money, it's an ambitious thing, right? They're doing it's underwater. You've got underwater shots. There's a lot it's of literally stunt all work. underwater. The whole movie is underwater. Yeah. Like well, from the start, the 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 setting is, but we're mostly. Yeah. In right. um, contained, yeah, yeah, inside the mm-hmm. the vessel. Um, so there's monster effects. There's, I was like, there's models and yeah. minis. Mm-hmm. I was like, there, yeah, like there's models. There's set pieces. They're there so cute, yeah. but also really good sets. <laughs> little really tiny good bubbles. Yeah, little tiny bubbles. Me. Love the bubbles. <laughs> little bubbles. I always try and gauge how big the bubble is compared to the rest of the set to Ooh. know yes, if it's yeah. like that's a regular bubble and that's a tiny set. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's always fun. Um, but like the set design of this, I think is really good. I it loved all the electronics. Everything kind of felt like all the it blinking was lights. Blink, well, I love oh blinking God. lights. I'm, I, I think that's my ADD uh, talking. I just love a blinking light. No, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but also, um, just all the levers they got to pull, the buttons they got to push. Yeah. It switches, all felt. They can so flip. Love, yeah. love a switch. Lo- the like switches like surrounding them, like 365 yes. switches. Yes, and I, yeah, I love the acting you have to do with that because you got to reach over your shoulder and flip yeah. something mm-hmm. on up ahead. You have to synchronize, you know, hitting buttons and all and that stuff. And then you kick your desk. Right. desk Tear out and spin over to the other side. <laughs> yeah, and do it. Yeah. And it's like flip, I, flip, flip, flip. You guys yeah. know on YouTube those like ambient videos where it's like you're on the beach and Boston Over music's playing and like it'll, it's like eight hours long and you can kind of just like vibe, right? Have you yeah, seen yeah, those? Yeah. I would watch one of those videos of just like a uh, an, an office of like this, this like, an ASMR of like the switches flipping, the lights going off. It does. It's, it's uh, soothing. There, it, it makes is, me there's like a, yeah. there's a sound to the it. Aircraft yes. that is like yeah. great. I would ASMR. watch that. I would fall asleep <laughs> watching that every single night. Just a guy flipping switches, pushing buttons, pulling. And levers mm-hmm. and none of it ever felt on and off. um i guess extraneous like it all felt like within like what they needed to do yeah. it all felt like that's what they were doing like it, it really pieced together very mm-hmm. well but i miss that old like hum that kind of electronics yeah. would have and the heat that they would give off like you know that little area was smelled kind of like burnt dust because like <laughs> yeah. of all the lights and everything going all the time yeah. that you gotta yeah. have that like hum going in the background right and mm-hmm. there's also like you flip a switch you're like hmm that smells weird that's yeah that switch burned out we gotta fix that <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. yeah there's like, a lot of that yeah. right it's like you, you gotta fix the shit yourself you're down there <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, it. no, I mean this is a pretty it's good. You know, analog. you got all the yes. the tunnels with all the pipes over them, and everything mm-hmm. feels really cramped, and you know, yeah. yep. So I mean, it it, it kind of worked. You it know? Plays. Oh, no, it, it worked. plays. Yeah, it plays. Um, so what are they doing the first day that we meet them? What's uh, what's what's going on? Um, they're waking up after sexy time. <laughs> yeah, so some of the people actually do like each other. or Whatever we know that uh, yeah. uh, McBride and yep. Uh, Nancy Everhard's character <laughs> um, are uh, an item on this uh, little vessel with Indeed. all these other people. We always got to start it with everybody waking up. Joyce. Joyce. <laughs> what? No, they don't no say one that once. Uh, Collins. Jo- Collins. Collins. Yeah, they do okay, say Collins. Okay, Collins is that fine. No smart. one said no. Joyce. <laughs> Joyce. So she good. has a first name. Because yeah, I would have immediately made fun of it. Because he, someone yelling out, <laughs> Joyce! It's, just, <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind yeah. of funny. <laughs> No. And uh, we know that uh, we know that McBride has a relationship with the captain that goes outside yeah. of the. the they're, they're actually friends. Probably the captain probably recruited him for this job and everything. Yeah, yeah. I like it's. Uh, I recognize that you are actually good. Like you should come over to the whatever. Right. The, yeah, and Collins is a U.S. Navy SEAL. She is right, the mm-hmm. first woman to graduate at the top of her class or something like that. Allegedly, yeah. She's, mm-hmm. uh, she's down here at the bottom of the ocean. She's with good at what she else. does. Uh, Nia Peebles is the doctor. doctor. Sure. No, Nia Peebles. Oh, oh, no. no she she's, was the... she's a doctor, but she's a marine biologist. Right. Okay. She wants to study yeah. all the things in the mm-hmm. caves and all that. Yeah. And just like Alien, no one's listening to the woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Cindy, uh, was it Cindy Pickett? Ferris Bueller's mom is the doctor. Yes. 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 Right. Which she's I an like actual it. physician. Yeah. She's actually like second in the chain of command, it turns out. Uh, you got to listen to her once the True. captain uh, goes away. True. I mean, yeah, I guess uh, it makes sense to have a doctor high up in your chain of command, yes. right? In this situation. Yeah, somewhere up there, especially yeah. like we have to figure out the safety of our crew. Right. It's doctor, the doctor figured that out. 
uh, Mac and uh, Matt me? McCoy. <laughs> huh? I said me. Mac and me. <laughs> Mac and, and Matt McCoy, they're the pilots. Uh, yep. Tom Bray and the guy from the sheriff from Friday the 13th are like mm-hmm. the... They're the, like... They're the... I like those guys. They're like... Um, alien. Uh, Yafit Koto and... Uh, the engineering? Yeah, they're like pretty much the engineering that goes out there. Yeah, oh, this, it could be. It's, that's what the feel is like. We got the older one and sort of the younger one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Edward, Edward, what the fuck's his name? Dean St- uh, the His uh, Yafit Koto's... Oh, Harry Dean Stanton. Harry Dean Stanton. Stanton. Yeah, yes. I was like, Dean Stanton. Something. Yeah, Harry Dean Stanton. They're kind of yeah. like those two a little bit. With yeah. Their, with their friendship and their bickering. Like, they've been doing a lot, and they, you know, they work hard, but they're like, I want my share. I want my cut. Oh, there's the one guy. I'm sorry. I don't know the actor. He's the scientist that built the thing, designed the Deep Star Six, and is responsible. He's the one with the Navy contract and has to get the, the British guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is he, uh, he sounds Kiwi, but yes. Okay, could be. He has to, he's the one in charge of putting the, the, the missiles Gel- there. Van Gelder. Van Gelder? Van, yes, Van Gelder, who's always and, just like, I don't care! Get it done! <laughs> yeah, he's the one under the dead He's the hard ass. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We gotta get it done or the Navy's gonna shut us down. It's always like the, yeah, so what yeah, are we basically we're this saying? this close to being Give shut down. Give your team the time they need to complete the project, otherwise yes. corners get cut, giant monsters are discovered, and people and, are going to die. Rich, and rich billionaires palette. implode yes. at the bottom yes. of the ocean, yes. is what happens. Yes. You know, Sean, you got to break a few eggs to make it out. Ah, you know, yeah. so. And if they're rich billionaire eggs, <laughs> it's, it's so better. Bad. All the better. <laughs> Um, and Jeez. Miguel Ferrer. You know how many people just went, click? Uh, you know what, that's fine. <laughs> if they uh, feel bad for billionaires, that's on them. <laughs> Ouch! Jesus <laughs> Christ! All right, I'm gonna feel bad for the billionaires. Um, so we got uh, we're, we're in hard times. Colin. Hard times. Yeah. We're, all, we're all trying to process the best we can. Yeah, and it's very difficult for us who are struggling. Yes, to see people with lots of money do stupid things. Yes, and it's hard for us to process that. Yep, it's not that we want to see human life lost. Oh, very Bingo. Nice. Bingo. Bingo. Let's move on. Big team win. <laughs> there you go. I was um, gonna... Unless it's Miguel Ferrars, and then I'm all for it. I was what s- a dick. I was going to say, from the perspective of the billionaires, to be honest, I do understand that when you eat steak every day, it becomes McDonald's, right? So you got to chase it higher, a true. bigger thrill. And, uh, and, you know, unfortunately, there's thrill seeking outweighs their common sense. So. Mm-hmm. But I get how they get to that point. Yes. Yeah, it's like yeah. doing, Doesn't make it's, it right, but it's like I understand. Doing cocaine it. and then injecting cocaine into your heart. Exactly. It's like you got to. <laughs> Just like Once that. you're addicted, you got to keep up right. in the stakes, you know? So. Yeah. Uh, and Miguel Ferrer plays. Um, Snyder. And he is the. Communications. I think, yeah. I think, I he's, think he's the radio guy. Or yeah. whatever. I mean, he seems to also have to do a lot of like. Uh, Fixing. And, mechanic. Yeah. Mechanic. Who is Miguel Ferrer? Is he seriously? Snyder. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, Snyder, Snyder is a mechanic. Well, mechanic. they both do a shit ass job at that. Wow, they don't. They seem to break more things than they fix. They never have enough parts, and they yeah. never yeah, no. actually put the thing together. Also, correctly. he's a, he's an idiot. Yeah. So there's that. That's awesome. Okay, is he? Well, yeah, he is. Yes. yes, yes, he is. I liked this performance. Like he stands no, it's good out. Performance. He's a good performance because I'm like, man, he really is making a lot of this character. Yeah. Uh, you oh, feel great. bad yeah. for him, I guess I did because yeah, he's he an idiot in some ways. He's an idiot in yeah, some ways. I mean he's not like I don't know. You could have played it more, uh, like you know, goofy idiot. He really does it. Sure. This is like the kind of idiot that you meet. Like this in life. Is a, no, this is a dangerous idiot. <laughs> this, we've all had this coworker, right? Dangerous. This, like this he can fuck some like, stuff up. Yeah. This one that you're like, I can't work shifts with him because he's gonna burn this restaurant down when I'm here. You know, we've yeah, all had yeah. a coworker and like I'm, that. And I'm very much seeing it from the perspective of like this is the coworker that always follows the fucking rule book. Yep. Even yes. though you can tell them this is a situation that you have to venture out of the rule book. Still- he is the reason Michael Scott drove into the river. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. There it is. There it is. Yes, so he is. Um, this is going to be a disaster movie, <laughs> primarily. Yeah. Right? See, now I didn't know what it was going to be because I have never seen this movie. Same. I've heard the title many times, but I didn't know what was involved with it. Mm-hmm. Even although looking at the cover of this, I should have seen that our, our underwater man is bitten in half. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice that either. Yeah. I just thought <laughs> yeah. it was happening. Yeah. Uh, yeah. like, they, they faded away like in Photoshop. Yeah, I, I was like, it's just fading away behind yeah, I never yeah, looked I was like, that it, close. Yeah. yeah. But for a long time... I mean, I, you didn't get it from the tagline? What was the tagline? Not all aliens come from space. Well, see, that's no. what kept me going. Like, all right, it okay. says that, but we go a long time without getting to yeah. something like that. Yes. Well, yeah. And so the, I'm wondering, like, yeah. okay, what are we? What is this going to be? Because this is a drama. And it depends, because there is a second tagline that you could have seen, which is, save your last breath. 
to, to scream. scream. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's okay. a good one. Yeah. I think that was the one that was, was that on the poster? I think that, that was on the poster. That was on the poster. Yeah. yeah, Sean, this movie is all like mechanical failure drama it, for it, like a lot for a while, of it. Yeah. it. The Abyss did a lot of that too. But I mean, was it that Sphere? Yeah. Yeah. Sphere did too. Yeah. 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 Uh, there was a lot of door drama in Sphere too. Yeah. Even <laughs> Aliens. Did, yeah. Always yeah. door yeah. drama. Yeah. Always door drama. Oh, because, the door drama is the best. you can't show the monster the whole movie. Yeah. We've learned that lesson. Sure. Yeah. Unless you're Justin. Well, right. well, I was well, and I was thinking like I like not to bring up a sore subject, but oh, like, no. the Meg had like uh. had that whole part where like their underwater tunnels were clear so that you could always see where the shark was. Yes. Remember, which seemed like a cool idea, but they did not use it appropriately. No, they, not, not at all. They didn't yeah. do it as good as Jaws three. No, did it. no, I, I would agree. <laughs> I will. I will Actually, agree. You know what? I would agree. <laughs> I will agree. Yeah, I'll go with that. Oh. Yeah. Um. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about some damn sharks, mother. Um, Shut down the pumps. <laughs> <laughs> you do that very good. That's I thought uh, it's yeah, my favorite a... thing. <laughs> um, I, love that I do it to make you laugh, Colin. <laughs> I love that we've literally covered every Jaws movie on this podcast now, but yeah, it still gets brought up like in more conversations. It'll never be out of our system, apparently. No, it's Jaws so will always surface. It's so fun. It. Uh, and we are underwater, I guess. Okay, so <laughs> what is the first thing that goes wrong? Oh, so uh, the first thing goes wrong. They have like a little like scouting pod um, that's they're they're inspecting a cavern, right? Because that's yeah. where they're going to put the missile bed. Right. Um, There's a cavern under where they want to do yeah. all their stuff and they can't build on top of it because it might collapse it. It's not solid. So right. they are going to blow it up. So, yeah. So the first they set, they detonate a bomb, which <laughs> then makes makes the earth implode and yeah, there's like losing. a big sinkhole yes um and then they have to go down and inspect the situation so they send their little like inspector mobile. drone they thing. Lo- there's a mobile that goes down yeah. to, to look at everything but yeah, they so end up losing that there's two guys in the cavern they're operating this little like drone thing that is suddenly taken out by a great force that they see on the radar mm-hmm. sonar yeah so how'd that play i mean suspenseful very cause... very tremors too well, they don't have them. They don't. They can't show the monster. I guess not that's yet. basically the right. thing. Right. Well, no, not in the water. Yeah, yeah, they don't do that. Like it's just POV of uh, you know of it rushing around. I wonder how it was written. But I mean, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they can't. So they just do the ping. You know, it's like something's getting closer. And like, yeah. only <laughs> you know, the whole way through this movie, I'm watching it. And actually, I do have a lot of respect for the cast in this because I'm sitting there going, like, what's it like to be on the set? You're sitting there in front Miserable. of a bank of cameras that are yeah. looking at you, and so the, the camera sees the set behind you, yeah. but you're just staring at like the camera or screens and going, yeah. like, we got to shut down the manual thruster, and like, what's that over there? You know, it's like, oh, that sounds horrible. You know, I mean, they're just <laughs> reacting to nothing yeah. you know, all the yes. time, it's, but they're good at it. Yeah. I was like, These it's, guys ba- are doing pretty it's good. basically like improv. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if they're not doing that, they're in waist deep water yeah. these poor actors yeah. oh my god getting sprayed in the face with water constantly oh, they yeah. just like this just is like, a very grueling set to yeah. yeah at and least like, in space there's no fucking water right and like it just i just think of how cold they must be being in water all th- day you know? i was thinking about that too you yeah. know they don't warm it up in a couple even if they do room. how long does it stay warm for yeah. when you're shooting yeah. all day i don't you know? know sometimes they do i would yeah. read like sure. stuff about these things where they would warm it but i'm i mean i guess it's like a big swimming heated swimming pool or whatever and this one wasn't you know, like Base. really big, you know, it's like he could probably. But, they, but there were so many scenes where they were like, you know, in, you know, like the hallway of the airlock or something. And that's yeah. filling up with water. Like, I doubt that's being heated. Right. You know, yeah. I don't know. Based on the lack of bras in this movie, I can confirm mm. it was cold. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there yeah. it is. Right, there it yep. is. Very true. Um... Okay, we're, uh, come I back, just, Colin, come yeah, back. Sorry, Colin, did come I just back. bring us to a screen? Oh, <laughs> Colin went offline. <laughs> yep, because I was just connected. Hook Remote. him back up, hook him back up. Yeah. Okay, so they... Refresh. Well, I mean, part of the thing that's going to, you know, it's kind of, I guess, the cliche of these types of movies, but this is what always makes them kind of, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, because now you found the cave, and the right. cave well, contains uh, life forms that are possibly... right. Millions of years old. I like the way that they've survived for millions of years because they've been cut off from, you know, not the descendants of it. They've been living down there for millions. I mean, it makes sense to me. (laughs) Okay. So there's something. Right. And it's very big. Which the lovely marine biologist has been warning them about for a while, saying, we need to check out this cave. We need to check out this cave. And I was like, nah, it's fine. We yeah, she gives, a, we'll she gives a whole rundown later. of like the history of this area and what scientists have tried to do, what yeah, they've like come up that. against. It, it's nice. Yeah, it's She's like there's other case people who have yeah. come like, down here and they all went missing. Right. We have the opportunity. Right. Yeah. 
That's she's, nice. she's like, why the hell have I been down here? Like, why yeah. did you bring me if you're not even going to listen to me? I was actually kind of wondering that. Yeah, she I was. Doesn't, her job is Because they got too. behind yeah. on construction of the sled and then everything else had to go by the wayside. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they first, say that too. So. Because the first purpose is to build the sled. Yeah. And so our crew, the two guys, uh, go missing because this big giant thing yep. comes and hits the yeah. side they of the ship. They go looking for their mobile and... Uh, yeah. Yes, they are. The, the last point of communication, they hear them like freaking out. They're scared of something, and then just they go dark. Yeah, yeah. That's the way the mu- movie is going to communicate this. Oh my god, look at the size of that fucking thing! <laughs> you know, yeah. Before yes. the line goes. Which, down. like, I'm sorry, if you were in that situation, would you ever actually say that shit out loud? Would you be it like, was, "Oh my god, look at the size of that thing"? If it was huge. I don't know. I mean, if I was sitting here and you didn't see it, and I was like, "Oh I, my god." I mean, look at the size of that baby. I mean, if I'm sitting there, I'd be like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, that's there, what there I'm saying. There would just be yeah. a lot of maybe. that. Yeah, yeah, it would be like, "What the fuck?" It wouldn't be so maybe, specific as maybe, "Look at the size of that." Maybe thing. to make them a little more eloquent, it's like we just can't have them say, "What the fuck is that?" All yeah. the time. Yeah. So we gotta. But that's gotta, what they would say. I, yeah. I agree. But we gotta <laughs> switch you say, it up a little if bit. If you say anything and you're not shitting your pants, you're gonna say, "What the fuck?" And yeah. he does. Yeah. And the guy is like that. He's like, "Yeah." As soon as I scrape out my underwear, it's like understandable, sir. Yeah. Well, then the next crew of so there's basically. Basically, right. right, there's the Deep Star 6, and then there's the remote, uh, like, uh, whatever the... It's like the DS, It's not a DSRD. Oh, cat. It's like a... Yeah. They're out yeah. It's an underwater further. bulldozer. They call it, like, the Deep Cat Yeah, but the like one that. that they connected to, it was like there was three vehicles. Like, the cat gets yeah. taken out by the monster. Right. Then there's the little submersible thing that Nancy Everhard and... The search uh, pod? Yeah. And Ilya Baskin are on it. So that yeah. gets oh, no, taken that, That's out. like the station for the bulldozer. For the cat. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And so yeah. The, the thing like attacks that and then cripples that and it's flooding and, and it's now they're injured. Yeah. And Greg Evingen's girlfriend is in there. And so we got to save them. So now we have to go on a rescue mission. And then uh, it's kind of dicey. To the abyss. <laughs> yeah. We've lost three people already at this point in the movie. And now we got to get back to Deep Star Six. So you're like, ooh, at least they're back in Deep Star Six. <laughs> Mission's over. And we're gonna go home. Wait, right? where are we at? We we lost we lost the two guys that went we searching lost for the, guys drums. In the yeah. sub. And then um, we lost the, the Russian guy the gets Russian crushed. Russian guy. Yes. He dies. So and three. then captain we lose dies the as well. Captain. Oh, the captain dies yeah. in that scene yes. too. It's because yeah, there was McBride and the captain go down there to rescue them because they've lost communication. Yes. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> <laughs> my father wanted me to work on the farm, but no, I had to join the navy, see the fucking world. Yeah, that, was <laughs> that was a great line. That was a great line. Yeah. <laughs> and he gets a door sliced. He yeah. does get door he gets sliced. Crushed by a door, but, he, but not killed. No, because that's the best part. Then he's like, I could, he's like, I order you to get off the ship. I order you, and they don't listen to him. So he literally floods the cabin. Okay, this is a major problem I have with this movie. Why? Ca- catastrophic <laughs> buttons are just out in the open. <laughs> like, like this guy. Catastrophic yeah, buttons. Yeah, because there's another, it happens again later on. It like, does. You could just yeah. bump yeah. it and be this, like, oh. Yes, exactly. Like, <laughs> there should be a plastic shield over this, yes. like the fire yeah, alarms have. Flip no. up the plastic yeah. Yeah. and then this push it. This is absolutely legit. I can't tell you how many times I've I, gone it's to It's insane. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to work and I've gotten in the elevator and something I'm carrying hits the emergency button. Oh. And oh. the police come on. They're like, you okay? And I'm like, sorry. Elevator rescue. All the time. But what's funny? is that this shot this should be that you know that button meme with the two red buttons yes. yeah, yeah, yeah this it should be this scene instead it's like, because it says purge or flush right now <laughs> and he hits flush and i'm just like okay that that is the meme right there but flood it says flood, 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 flood. Yeah. yeah yeah okay and he but the thing is he's laying down being crushed by his door and his buttons within reach from where he's at this isn't a horrible design Very like problematic. yeah <laughs> Yeah, that man should not be making decisions. And at this point. like that thing fills up instantly, real quick. Like, I know he was like, yeah. "You kill them," you know, like what's going on? It's like but in you Jaws could so accidentally the... kill everyone all the time, like you said, Holly. You're yeah. just yeah. carrying something down the hallway, and whoops, yeah. you just well, flooded the whole I'm chamber. Always, yeah, the I would about... love it more <laughs> if you got in your elevator in the morning and hit the emergency button and water just started. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funnier. You're just like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Can you please evacuate the water from this? <laughs> but like part of the thing about these uh, high pressure, I meant pressure... to hit purge, not flood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the high pressure like uh, environments, right? It, it always like there's these fail safes that are trying to save the other parts of the ship, so they'll yes. always like shut a door. It's always on you. cut this off. That's, and yeah, yeah, that's what scares me. Like yeah. you're gonna like, oh shit, I'm in here, and like mm-hmm. oh, the water's coming out, and the thing just goes chick, 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 yep. and mm-hmm. locks you in. Mm-hmm. With it. It's, it's like, like sorry, yeah. it's like mother, mother, open the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So they make it back. McBride, McBride and, and Joyce. Yeah, <laughs> Joyce. Collins. Joyce yep. and McBride. Joyce. They make Collins. it back to uh, to the ship uh, or to Deep Star Six. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, the mission's over. We're gonna go for the surface. We're all gonna and decompress. You see, I, I would say that you're glossing over like. The fact that three people just died, but your reaction but is exactly gloss, yeah. how they all react to. Oh, they're like, okay, so now that they're dead, <laughs> like that's Matt right. McCoy because they all the, get to go home. And they're yeah, just but like, Matt Ooh. McCoy comes in and like, I know he was your friend, and I just yeah, I know he died five say, minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew he died five minutes ago, but I found this. I know his of the blood is you. still on your <laughs> uniform. Right, yes. <laughs> But here, let's divvy up his things. He's real right. But I was like, going through it. Like, this guy was going through his things before. He was already like, in this bedroom. is the day yeah. to go through his well, things. Well, it did. Like, yeah, he, he heard him on the radio, like, we lost the captain. I know exactly where that picture like, is. Oh, well, shit. I'm He's got some find things it. I want. Well, yeah, because uh, I think McBride was still changing out of his wet clothes. He was still yeah. changing. Yeah. Uh, yes. But I, we don't know how long the ride was. And that picture looked like it was taken the day before. <laughs> We don't know how long the ride was. Are you yeah, kidding? They could have. They knew for radio. I don't know. Okay, I'm giving up on that. I, I, see, what, I see what you're saying. I <laughs> no, 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 no. That could have no, been two no. hours to get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think that's enough time to watch your friend die? And no. Be okay with it? <laughs> yeah. mm, I mean, I don't. I, I don't what, think he was enough wearing time. wet clothes for that whole two-hour ride. Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking. No, but the guys, the guys back at the place maybe knew for two hours, and so they're like, "Oh, he's dead," you know. And then they have to go, and then he goes through all his stuff. And okay, um, I go through your stuff. Okay, I'm not going through stuff. All right. Wow. I mean, so, you, <laughs> you can. I don't know if you're going to like you what you find. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, now they're all back at the at the Deep Star Six. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to depressurize the escape vessel so they can leave. Right. right? Yes. Yeah. But then well, we can't leave until we've secured uh, the payload. Yeah. And so this is where Snyder comes in. Oh, boy. Well, he does exactly <laughs> what he's supposed to do. That's kind of the problem. Yeah. Like, this is why, you I, know. I, this is fun, though. He's just like, because keep, people keep asking him, you know how this, to do that. And he's like, of course I know how to do that. I, and then he's Googling the instructions. Ego comes unquote. first. Yeah. Sure. Yes. And, Colin, and so I really questions. need you to find a screenshot of this multiple choice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my this God. Is good. <laughs> this is maybe my favorite plot device I've ever seen in a movie. I love yeah. that a multiple choice question takes down this entire yeah. ecosystem. Right. They're What's like, it what was it? What is it? Aggression. Well, yeah, Aggression. Because he's like, he's like following the protocol. What do we do? We have to, we have to. Um, uh, well, first it said it's a, the multiple choice was like, is it because of system failure? Two, right, he's, right. He's going through the system protocol, and, yeah. it, and it comes up a multiple choice question. Yeah, you have to basically answer why it failed. Is it because right? of yeah. natural causes, natural right. forces, or is it because of aggression? He's yeah. like, there was three options though. It was. Yeah. Yeah, there was something else before that one yeah, that was more benign. Why are, you, yeah. why are you securing the missiles? Yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's like a natural occurrence happened, mm -hmm. and one was a there wasn't failure. enough a mechanical there failure. There wasn't enough RAM to give them options. Yeah. for thinking about what could happen right. in the world. Yeah. They're like, did did something short out, or are the Russians coming? Okay, like that's those her, are your yeah. options. And her reaction, she's like, well, it was aggressive. It was aggressive. Yeah, yeah All but right. he, I guess he calls things. her and says, like, okay, so the thing wants it to be specific. Was this thing that attacked you? Would you call it aggressive? She's like, yeah. And then the uh, the the doctor is like, just hurry up and do the thing. So he hits aggression, and it de basically detonates. <laughs> like, but there, there should be another step here. Where it's there like, is, are you there, sure? But there is another thing. Because He's got to go through all the fail safes and that's turn the thing, in the yeah, keys. Yeah. The there is another step. Yeah. The other step is him actually detonating the missiles. Mm -hmm. Which he does. Yeah. He doesn't stop and think, oh, this is probably a bad idea. Yeah, it's his emergency it's detonation. He's like, yeah. all the, the computers don't. It's me a too. suitcase with a big red button. Like, what <laughs> yeah, do you think is going to happen? It's weaponized incompetence. This guy is choosing to be <laughs> incompetent yes. at times when he wants to get out of things and not be responsible for shit, even though he knew what he was fucking doing. He like, signed up for four months. He's yeah. been there for like six or seven at this point. Yep. He just wants out. Yeah, he wants out. They all want out, I think. That's also the thing that like, all these movies haven't come right, like, I'm going to get long. home. I want to get my paycheck and I want to be done. Yep. So uh, the detonation causes a shockwave that destroys the fucking <laughs> ship and they have to run around Throwing levers and yelling, and they yep. get to do physical work. And I actually thought that the cast probably liked working on this movie. It looked like a lot of fun. It did. <laughs> I liked that. And, and you know, I liked this stuff. It mm -hmm. worked for me. I thought it was entertaining. Yeah, it was a while before we get into any monsterish stuff. But again, I like. We should probably like watch people throw switches. That. There's a monster in this. But it's movie. barely <laughs> in this. Movie. There is a monster yeah. in this movie, and the crew that we've lost have seen the monster, but. 
the crew that's surviving is about to see it. Because they have to like change a, like, a, a main line to get the decompression to work. Yeah, we gotta hook the air hose and do a reroute. Yeah. And yeah, okay. So, Homeboy in a like pseudo Iron Man suit goes down there to do it. He goes down there. And I'm like, it's like, it's a very bubbly this. Iron Man it's suit. Very, very bubbly. Yeah, it's like no. deep sea dive, diver. With like claw helmet. hands. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he can't move. He can walk, but he's just like, ah, yeah. this is my strong hand. I'll yes, use this exactly. to, to shoot sparks at this. Because he's going down there. He's supposed to uh, connect something or what have you. But he just goes down there and shoots some sparks. He's like, all right, it's done. Yeah, I know. They were really playing uh, loose with the like, I need you to find E-17. The guy's looking at like a rusted over yeah. uh, mm-hmm. hatch yeah. control. They're like, uh, E-17. Oh, here it is. <laughs> buzz, yeah. buzz, buzz. That's fixed. <laughs> it reminded me of uh, the end of Virtuosity when Denzel just took that wire out of his arm and just plugged it in. It was like, yep. the box it fixed. works it because was like the movie that. says it, yeah. Works. Yeah, yeah, it works. It works. It was that level of but thought. He <laughs> encounters something moved down here, and I'm kind of scared. Mm-hmm. Then he comes up through the airlock, but some, he's not in the airlock alone. Mm-hmm. And we get to see the monster. The monster comes up and. Whoosh. All right, what do we have here? What. What are we looking at? What is what this are we looking beast? At? That's a great this creature. Gosh. This all-time movie. It's, it's monster. It's like a frog and a predator. And like a lobster, a little bit. The lobster. Yeah. A little bit with uh, like a kind of a claw. It's it has, it has like a head that splits in like three ways. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like the Demogorgon. See, so you're worthless on this, but the faculty. Yeah, I've the not monster in the faculty. It kind of looks a little bit like that. <laughs> kind of. It has eyes yeah. on the end of like stalks yeah, that's, or something. Yeah. That's in the that, frog which I was thing like, I was thinking of, which yeah. feels also a little flyish. Yeah, we're yeah. told it's an uh, arthropod, right? I think yeah, something like, like that. So it's a crustacean or something like that, right? Yeah. I was like, mm-hmm. does it have? Uh, you know, like legs. It would have been cool to see, like a bunch of right. We right. see a lot of top you only half see of this like monster. the top torso. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's a I giant assume there's not a bottom half that exists. I would Some agree. Kind of yeah. crab thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got like like pinchers on the yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, but like curved does. teeth too. Yeah, yeah I wonder if it's scuttling part. along yeah. on those or whatever. Yeah. And so this thing gets in the place floods, and so that means that we're going to have the monster is now on the ship right. hiding under the water, which is about I don't know chest it's, deep. It's it's sliced Lloyd Braun in half. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, bit him in half. Yeah. And that was a pretty cool scene. That was, mm-hmm. that was good. That that is what um, yeah. that scene determined what I was watching. Like, okay, now yeah. I know. That was cool because they're like they're is. pulling him up and like they hoist just the torso out of the water uh-huh. and it's just like dripping gooey red. Yeah, it's good. Cool. There's like that kind of suction movement when you pull, yeah. like when water comes out like that. That at first it just kind of looks like he's surfacing and then you see he's only, yeah. it's only half of him. That's it's pretty, pretty great. good. Yeah. Like, I mean, he didn't fall out of it. I always wonder about He's that. Got a, his, his arms, arms, oh, his yeah. arms, his arms are still yeah. in there. Yeah. And though it would have been fun if at a certain point he like, did you come slide back to out. the scene, <laughs> it's quiet, and then all you hear is <laughs> yeah, as he yeah. falls out. Yes. <laughs> that would have been good. <laughs> um, <laughs> we always want the nastiest things for these people. Just like, so <laughs> it'd be funny if half his corpse slid onto the floor, <laughs> right? Well, it That'd is, be funny. <laughs> I guess it is still in like the air of like the the slasher and stuff like that. You know, so you still have that kind of gory effects yes. work yeah. and stuff like that. Um I don't know if you looked up uh, who designed the monster. Oh, fuck. I looked it up earlier and I forgot his name. God damn it. Well, it was uh, Chris Wallace apparently did a pass at designing it, but then he turned it over to Mark Showstrom. And we talked about that. Showstrom. Yeah, Yeah, because I think Showstrom, like now that we're watching all these movies, it's like he was like number two to like Tom Savini. Is that like too big of a because he did. um, It felt. Uh, maybe, rage, I think maybe it, just, maybe it was just Her- the Manfredini score, but it felt like Savini effects. Yeah, this is the kind yeah. Of, yeah, but I mean, like, well, we like Blood Rage. The effects work in that yeah. was like, pretty yeah. good. That's, and, oh, uh, yeah, that was that was fun. He did the Mutilator. I mean, like, he did a bunch of those other the slashers that Savini didn't do. Gotcha. He's like, 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 hey, I can't do gore. this, but you can yeah. do it and go mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. Um, Man, I'd love to be in a position like that in life where, like, I'm not as good as, like, the A person, I'm the B person, but the A person passes off their work to that me. That would be all a time. nice position. I love that. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. Does any work? That's us as a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's our A podcast is going to shove stuff off to us that they don't right. want to cover? Like, yeah, yeah, we'll do Deep Star Six. You do the yeah. Abyss. We'll do Deep Star Six. Yeah. Exactly. This is like all fun. these guys like stepping up in the, <laughs> in the ranks of like from slashers to Deep Star Six. Um, I think Showstormer did like Elm Street 2 or something. Anyway. Um, a lot. <clears throat> so, yeah, a lot of stuff. And I think he's still working today. Um, so now the creature is on the the 
hiding in the water. This yeah. is where I started to go like, well, how big is this thing? Because it's huge, except when it's in the water. Yeah, yeah right. That's Maybe it the shrinks. problem. This Did it scene. Well, eat the original, like the I the tra- was shrinkage. I hear that happens. <laughs> More I was in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the pool. That's what the monster was saying to them. The whole time. He comes up pool. talking like the gremlin from part two who can speak. <laughs> oh. He's like, well, I was in the water. Oh, uh, that's cold. <laughs> Um, <laughs> turns into fucking the 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 little shop of horrors plant. Yeah, uh, Audrey too. Audrey too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, feed me. And uh, so they they have to go back into that room at some point. I think they lose several other crew members during this scene where they you um know, in a fantastic death scene where someone's heart explodes out. Well, of their oh, that was when they go back in. Yeah, because yeah. they, they all I mean because the yeah he, that guy gets well, yeah, they, knocked they lock, in the head and they all have to get out after. Um, they, yeah, they he lose gets the diver and then they lose the um, marine biologist as well in that scene. Right, and then they have to go back in. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's more drama. And there's shotguns. Not this doing shotguns. Job. Yeah. And then, yeah. Silver, the the the, the silver and black shotguns. Oh, and they have uh, these. Why they have those down there to fend off the Russians that eventually. Why do them. they have shotguns? All I can think of was like, what are you doing with a gun in space? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. all I can think of. I was like, okay, so they're going to fire off this gun and it's going to rupture the wall, right? right? That, right. No. Anything that can no. rupture the hull <laughs> yeah. is not Bad. good. Yeah, yes. right? No, it doesn't happen. I like those shark darts Pottle. or whatever they have. Yeah, those, those shark spears cool. were cool. Yeah, they have like a CO2 canister in the tip, so you poke the spear into something and it. Blows it yeah. up. This is a good idea. That freaks me it's out. It's almost a like, bit. The boom- Honestly, like-, <laughs> like the boomsticks they used to have, where yeah. you just hit hit a, a yeah. thing with them and go. Psh. So we're going back into the room and we're going to kill this thing by injecting it with air. I but like this. This is a great scene. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> Because uh, it's an accident. I yeah, wonder. I know. Snyder has the worst luck. <laughs> you the know? worst. Well, luck. he was he was scared, so he didn't let them through the airlock. So he gets punched out for that, and everybody still has to keep on going. And then. Yeah, he's down there, and uh, Van Van Gelder, Van Gelder backs into him or whatever. It's the <laughs> the dart right in the chest, and it blows up for a little bit, and then explodes. It's yeah, it was great. Good. Yeah, great. that's fantastic. <laughs> yep. But wow, what a horrible way to die! What a Jesus horrible Christ. way! To die. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, horrible. Yeah. Well, Snyder flips out, right, and runs away. The yep. doctor's trying to console him, mm-hmm. and uh, it's like, "What are we going to do now?" And yeah. we're not, you know, a, we're down to four now. Yeah, and so the only thing that we can do is we got to go outside the ship. I think yeah. Greg, or no, they still have the the escape pod. Yeah, they're like, we need to sedate him. We need to get our supplies, and we need to get in that escape pod. Right, and, and the, yeah, because the out. reason they've been doing all this is because they have to depre- be able to depressurize the escape pod in order yes. to go up. Yeah, that's their whole process here, and so. Oh, because because like aliens, the reactor is going to go yeah, critical. Yeah, exactly. That's the yeah, aliens. It's going to go critical in four hours. And yeah, we're all fucked. the all the the life support is failing. We don't have any oxygen now. It's this like things are getting up. pretty dark. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, but Snyder, once he's sedated, yes, sti- he starts sedated. hallucinating. Yes. Yeah. And sees uh, deep dead, water madness. Yeah, you know, yes. you know how it yeah, goes. you know, space madness, deep water, deep madness. water madness. Yeah, this happens deep in the abyss madness. too. He sees Van Gelder's corpse coming at him, and so he flips out and commandeers the pod. Yeah, the escape pod. He's like, which "I'm getting out of here now." Decompressed. No, right. which he yeah, and so as he's uh, as he does escape and heads towards the surface, he the pressure gets to him and he starts bleeding. He's, first, he starts bleeding out of his. I love this scene. <laughs> this is great. I wanted more. I wanted, an, I wanted him to implode yeah. and explode. Yeah. And because they're... we're literally watching his veins like burst. Yeah, yeah everything's bursting. Really Bloods gross. coming out ever. It's squirting out of his eyeball at one <laughs> yeah. point. It's very cool, but also very like what you would think would happen to someone who is getting depressurized. Yeah. You ever see what happens to someone who gets depressurized? It happens Not- a lot faster than. This. Have yeah, you ever seen just, Mythbusters? Yeah. They yeah, did this. They oh, did it. Yeah. It was they put wild. like they built a human out mm-hmm. of like chicken bones right. and they like, like all the stuff. Scrap meat. Yeah. Well, meat yeah. Boy. yeah. And then mm-hmm. they turned the pressure on and it like shoves that thing all up into the helmet. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh. mm-hmm. <laughs> like a slurry. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. Happens, you, you it happens you like turn into instantly. A yeah, it it happens so quick. Yeah. Yeah. But no, this is a slow death for Miguel Ferrar. Yeah. And then he pops. Good. And then he should have uh, popped. Which we, do not, which we do not see. We just see blood splatter. Yep. Um, and then uh, now we're down to three: the mm-hmm. doctor, uh, the seal, and the pilot. And <laughs> the doctor, the seal, the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> and, Joyce. Yeah. Fuck names. <clears throat> Joyce. 
And so, how are Choice they going to how are they going to get off here now? They don't have uh they don't have an escape pod. They still have their one mini sub little, left. Yeah, their little mini explorer. But they but thing. they still have to bring it around to get depressurized before they can leave. Yes. So what's his nuts goes out and McBride goes out and he's like, "All right, I'm going to get this. I'm going to bring it around and get it all set up and depressurized." But first, he proposes. He does. And what is her answer? I'll marry you if you get me out of here. Yeah, which is <laughs> I thought she's I thought she said I'll marry anyone who gets me out of here. Stating the truth. Yeah, I mean, which is true. it. It's just like we, I'll marry you if we get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't marry you now. That's a good uh, heroic motivation for McBride to go uh, off into the the deep dark and try and swim over there and kind of like uh, a bud in the abyss. Right, you got to go yeah. and uh, yeah. free dive, and uh, so he does. He does actually get this thing and bring it around and. Uh, but Without then, much problem, he yeah. he does it. His I know. Yeah, it wasn't no problem. Bud swimming under the the no. deep core. The right. problem right. Was, was the doctor yeah. uh, hitting a button. Yeah, to they, a room he, okay, they didn't know. You're underwater and you just hear a a ping. Would you automatically open the door? Yeah, she thought it was him, like because he's free diving, like stuck on the other side, banging. But it's actually but it, a monster. But you, they only but heard one was, thing. If it was thong- him, he would have been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like banging a lot. Yeah, Maybe I'm like, surprised that that door opens. In too. that, because the in reason that, yeah. it's closed is like I'm not fucking opening this thing. You open right. it, you flood. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the just, structure's like I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah. She just opens it way too quickly, in I my know. opinion. Yeah, way Kinda too like willy nilly. Ian Holm and Alien. Okay, kind of. I don't know what I'm yeah. doing here. So then, uh, <laughs> well, he was more to, <laughs> yeah, he was dis- disregarding. Yeah. 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 Um, so anyway, they, she floods the whole compartment accidentally and, and lets the monster in. Closes the door and they're like, it's in here. It's I in here. I can feel it. And it's like a room that is probably 10 feet by 10 feet in a circle. It's just like, you can't see this thing? Come yeah. On. yeah. It and then the big gigantic thing like rears its head out of the water and, blah, blah, yep. and it roars like a lion or yeah. something. Yep. Why yeah. do creatures always do that? Why does uh, it take time to like roar and have like a vanity moment? I think movies? it's because we don't like the sound of lions. I think there's something hardwired oh, into humans oh, God, where it's I love like this theory. That, that we, yeah, we're like, you know, ancient man. Yeah, knows. ancient <laughs> right. foes. So like, yeah, it's right. like, yeah. Animal, like an animal scream is not good. <laughs> yeah. No matter what. Yeah. It's no good for humans. Yeah. Who have who have uh, probably gone to the top of the food chain, but are still scared of somebody yeah. usurping them at yeah. a certain point. Yep. So you always got to listen for the warning signs. And, yeah. uh, and a deep sea creature yelling at you, definitely a warning <laughs> sign. Yeah, true. I like the idea that this creature is actually a lot smaller, but it peacocks. Yeah, yeah. I like, like that idea. Like, yeah. everything yeah. above the water is huge, but if you look below it, it's kind of like a tiny little yeah. tadpole ass. Yeah, and it's, it's just, just a little, little legs. It's yep. just a little thing. I like but this idea. It's like, air makes it expand. Yeah. We're going to have to look afterwards and see if somebody's made, like, the Deep Star 6 monster, you know. Right into a mo- yeah. like, yeah. a full, yeah, to see what it looks yeah. like as a full model and something. Yeah. That would be good, yeah. I'm hoping it looks like it. I'm, I'm, you know what? There's a lot of special thing. features on this Blu-ray. Yeah, I'll bet go. it's on there. <laughs> the original design. Yeah. Yeah. Um, John, uh, fun fact, Jean-Claude Van Damme was also this monster before he got, <laughs> before he got kicked off it. He's like, I'm not working underwater. I can't do my spin yeah. kicks underwater. <laughs> There's a deleted scene where the monster's doing the splits. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, the doctor takes care of the monster. Thank God once mm. and for all. Yeah, she's, she's like, like, I'm going to fucking that jump fucking it. Thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, she, she electrocutes it with the, uh, the heart... Uh, the, the big paddles. heart paddles, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. For it's what, like, a cow's heart? Those things are huge. This <laughs> <laughs> is built right? for monsters. Yeah, yeah. Who are you <laughs> going like to use those things on? Paddles. Yeah, He's it's, like, look out. It's 1980. They shrunk it down since then. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. They, the te- you're right. The technology was big early, and when they did better, it got smaller. You're right. Well, you're right. Does it apply to defibrillators or yeah, no? Yeah. I think so. Does that technology like... evolve over time? I think it's kind of just like electricity going into your heart, right? Yeah. Yeah, but they didn't know that. We got to figure that out. You know that shit like burns your skin, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like yeah. it smells terrible. That's why they put the things yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. Get to feel really the gel. Good. Yeah, but you, uh, if you're a man, you have chest hair, and that shit, that's going to smell I want to, is there a movie where somebody bursts into flames? Like, the chest hair bursts into flames being... <laughs> there is a movie where there's someone something. bursts into flames. There is something <laughs> like, yeah. I think I've seen something like that. Yeah. I don't know from where, but... Do, do we just, like, as a society, like, the drama of a defibrillator? Oh, like, yeah. Is it just, it's yeah. so, like... It was a cliffhanger. Visceral? It was yeah. a, a, a season finale ending for ER at one point. Uh, every medical show. I'm sure Grey's Anatomy has done that, like, generally. seven times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's a thing. Yeah. People well, love that. This, the, the the movie wasn't over though at this point. I know we were no. all kind of relieved. It has like three false endings. No, right. The, the monster gets shocked and kind of floats away into the yeah, water. Kind of like, like falls uh, back into right. the water. And so the doctor is is taken out. They and go. They get into the decompression chamber and decompress. 
for three hours. How does that work? So they're down to eight minutes know. before the. Yeah, I know. Do you have like? Where's uh, the science up, behind this? Upstairs, uh, uh, surface air in there now. Is it just like it, the pressure is gradually like yeah. I have decreasing? No I don't. I don't understand yeah. this. I don't get it. And, but they just keep saying it's, it's you need a, to decompress. A, like we know what that means. It's equalization. We have to decompress to a certain level. But yeah, the how? Yeah, does I don't have no idea. Yeah, no. no I'm, I'm aware that pressure. this. I'm aware this needs to happen. Yeah. The science behind it eludes me. And they just keep saying you need to decompress. Like we know what that means. But but. Uh, but there's but no emotionally, way. we all do. There's we all do, recognize yes. the need to but decompress. But I don't understand how it's happening. But there's yes. no way to explain it because everyone in this movie knows what it means. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. all Navy. And yeah. we all get it. Yeah. yeah. But again, like, we couldn't describe it if we but needed like, to. Collect, but collectively, they, as an audience, we're like, you know what you're doing. But they yeah. could have yeah, just yeah. like info dumped and said, you just got to sit in here for like two hours so your body can act like... They just could have info dumped it well, and they didn't. James like, Cameron did that in The Abyss. Did they he? Explain, I haven't seen it. Yeah, because yeah, okay. he yeah. explains what it is and you're yeah. like, well, this is going to come back later. Yeah. <laughs> um, Granular detail, so, <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it so blue, anyway, right? they, uh, they shoot up to the surface mm-hmm. and escape the shock waves of the thing going nuclear on the bottom of the sea floor yeah. mm-hmm. which is like we, the third explosion in this movie lots of explosions yeah. it, there was a good for being com- underwater there was a, yeah, there was a good comment by by what's his name it's just like you made the guinness world records because nobody else has uh um oh detonated detonated two, two nuclear bombs <laughs> that is, one day. That is responsible for two nuclear explosions in one day <laughs> which is very funny also very the funny. comment about how it doesn't matter where you put the missiles because it's not like anyone can come grab them i was like fair <laughs> I'm, I'm like yeah. you know what that's a Russia valid could point. come yeah. down and get your missiles <laughs> Yeah. You know what? Good for them. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank God this pair makes it to the surface. Thank and you. everything uh, is fine, Colin. Yep. Except this it's is not. The music's Cunningham falling. Movie. The sun is out. Birds it's are beautiful. Flying. And then Jason comes out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just put that together. Literally. I'm just like, this is Jason. <laughs> yep. He pulled off the Friday the 13th. He did. Twist that again, again. And it worked. It worked. Yeah. I, saw, yeah. I saw you jump. Yeah. So I was, was like, like, oh my God. I was not expecting it. <laughs> I was hoping. I'm like, this yeah. is too sunny. This is too yeah. nice. It yeah. follow him up there. Come on. I was like, yes. Well, and us just like being the cynical people we are, we're like, okay, but you're on a raft in the middle of the ocean. This is not a happy ending. Yeah, we were focused on what their journey ahead yeah. at this point. We're like, until your feet are on land, it's water roll rolls. Yeah, you are right. not safe. Yeah, yeah you have screw, no yeah. drinkable water right now. Yeah, 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 it doesn't matter if you have a beacon. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, you're still yeah. miles They should at least put an island in the, in yeah. the, in the yeah. distance a yeah. little bit. Give us something. Oof. Or but, a ship coming at them or something. Right, Give somewhere something. they can knock a horn at it. Well, I mean, yeah, there's, we have, we have talked about the monster first, uh-huh. but they're at the end of the movie. They're literally like looking at something, and then the camera pans out. And you're like, oh, it's they're nothing. not looking at anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's just ocean. It's them. It's them manually paddling a yeah. life raft in the wide ocean. Like, no, this is the start of another bad movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the start of open water. Yeah. But, you know? but, like, but before that, we it's like back to back weeks of a Jaws two moment. Yeah, <laughs> because the monster does come back and starts yeah. attacking. Yes. The, the sub and everything. And so McBride is like, all right, we're going to release the fuel. Hits a button. Yeah. So that sprays all over it. And he gets a goddamn flare gun. Which and she looks at him. And she's like, no, don't do it. No, no. And he don't fires it, it into McBride. the water. And there's fire and everything. And she's screaming at him. And no. then we don't see him. And then everything explodes. <sighs> and then for like 10 minutes, she sits there staring at <laughs> She sits there staring at it. And then he just pops up in the water. He's like, hey, I'm fine. He's like Mario Van Peebles. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like that she had that moment though, where it goes on just a little too long. It and does, it, and then yeah. she's like, oh, kind over. of all downcast, you know, like she's like, oh, oh my God, he really out, did die. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, yeah. and the father of my baby just died. Mm-hmm. Yep, what do I do? Mm-hmm. Now starts an episode of I Survived. Like this is yeah, how that TV show great. goes. <laughs> <laughs> it, like man, the, I don't know if you guys. I know I bring up the show all the time. I don't know if you guys have ever watched it, but the I way they show. talk so casually about wild shit that happens yeah. to them, like like especially the teaser at the beginning of the episode where you're just getting little clips of the story, they'll be like, "Yeah, so that's when like you know that's the other when he six chopped people both died. My arms off. Yeah, that, that's literally an and episode. Then, yes. And then the episode starts like, "Let's go back. Yep, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Wait, what? Yes, and it's funny too because like the way they shoot their confessionals is like, for example, with that girl that had her arms cut off, they only show her from like the neck up until she says that, and then you get a wide shot. <laughs> right. You can't yes. reveal, yeah, because she's yeah. like, and yep. then there's just a shot of her going, yeah. <laughs> and she puts up her claws. It's mm. so wild. Mm. They're like, 
They're that, so nonchalant about it. They're just <laughs> nuts. Like they're like, yeah. At this point, I've been stranded under the snow for four days. It's like what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> like I ate my best friend. Dude, there's so there's one guy who got stranded on a mountainside with his dog, and he fell on his back and broke his back. And Ooh. he kept talking about. It. He's like, I was just like, I didn't know what I was gonna do with my dog. I didn't know my dog was gonna make it, and I was like, wow, that's all he thought about the entire time was I mean, my dog needs to survive. What, yeah, you know. <laughs> Check out my survive, guys. It's such a good show. Fascinating. Such a good yeah. show. That is a These people show. are doomed, is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Basically, mm-hmm. telling me it's fucked. like uh, it, lo- it looks like a happy ending. It looks like a nice, sunny, hot yeah. day yeah. out there too. Yeah, I they think can... Leviathan ends the exact same way. Really? Wow. <laughs> it's the exact same. Yeah, Leviathan is like a bigger budget version of this, mm-hmm. and the monster is different. I mm-hmm. think it's more thingish. It kind of mm-hmm. gets in you and makes you sick, and then it combines people to become a, uh-huh. a thing, but it has the exact same ending. Sorry if I just ruined that. Yeah, you sure fine. did. Look it's at the that. journey. Okay. We'll be all right. All right. Well, I guess um, we're not covering Leviathan on yeah, this show. No. There you go. In fact, Michaela, if next week's is a, is a water <laughs> movie, we're going to have a problem. Underwater. <laughs> underwater. When I saw Underwater, I was like, oh my God, they still make this movie. Is that a good movie? Is oh, that yeah. worth watching? I have not seen Underwater. If you, well, we'll find out if you like this movie. Okay. But if you like this movie and like the Leviathan or those kind of things, I think you would like Underwater. Yeah, okay. I liked that. I thought it was pretty light. So yeah. it's a decent, good movie. So, yeah, Sean did On Top of the Water. I did Under the Water. Next week, Michaela has to do One Water Attacks. One okay. Water Attacks. Oh. All right. Tsunamis <laughs> and shit. <laughs> okay. What's that one, like, Naomi Watts? The tsunami? Impossible. The Impossible, yeah. yeah. That's Holland a dad movie. That's a dad movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. No idea yeah, what this I guess is. I'm bringing that. That's yeah. A good movie. Yeah, it's, it's about, the, it's about that tsunami impossible. in Asia that, like, oh. yeah. It's a really good movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. One thing. All right. Well, we're going to go around the table and we tell do, you. We do force majeure. We do frozen <laughs> oh, water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's there where we, we go. go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ice. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> well, we're going to tell you. If but you you've never watch... seen how fast ice can move. <laughs> Getting the Sam Jackson monologues and shit. <laughs> what is this? Is this a movie? From Deep Blue Sea. Where he's oh, just like, yeah. Yeah. You may think water moves fast, but you've never seen what ice can yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. Some shit. And then it gets eaten by Yeah. All right. I thought because force majeure is a movie. It is. Yeah, it is a movie. But I think it's like a legitimately good movie, right? Right, yeah. we can't do yeah, that. Yeah. Maybe the Will Ferrell version. Yeah, go back okay. and check out our Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, yes. which we also did. Oh yeah, yes. we're all over the wall. I yell a lot on that one. <laughs> okay. Love it. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna tell you if uh, we liked it or not. Stick with us. First of all, we're gonna read some of your mail, and to do that, we're gonna need our mailman Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Do we think he's been underwater? He just rode in on an orca. I was like, <laughs> is he the one responsible for these attacks? Does, yes. he, does he lead yeah. the charge? Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, I'd say be very proud if he's leading this that charge. Way, yeah. yeah. Responsibility yeah. is yes. a big thing for him. Yeah. <laughs> and wow, or, orcas are really smart. If he's gotten them under his control, like that says something about Igor. Right. You know? They share. They share something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is they good. speak without speaking. <laughs> well, uh, I guess we should remind the good folks at home how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Sat Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Well, for Twitter as long as it exists. Yeah. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> for the time being. Yeah. Uh, should we branch out? I don't know. We'll find yeah, out. Yeah, Blue, um, Blue Sky. We're coming. Unless uh, you're, you're listening this way in <laughs> yeah. the future. Um, also, you can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about Deep Star 6. Kryptonian Orphan writes in and says, Ah, the era of combating movies, Deep Star 6 versus Leviathan. Huh. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed this time in Hollywood. Armageddon versus Deep Impact. Yep. Volcano yes. versus Dante's Peak. Yes. I love the competing movies. What's yeah. your yeah. favorite so of these two types? Barbie and Oppenheimer. <laughs> That's <laughs> my two. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I screenshot it. I was going to send it to you guys. There's literally an article that says why America won't choose between Barbie and Oppenheimer. I'm right. not going and to. I won't. Shouldn't. I can have both. <laughs> yes. Yes, right. you know Both. we contain multitudes yes we don't have to pick do it's about time out? hollywood learned we want it all yeah. <laughs> do they come out the same yes they, oh, same day same oh, day oh, okay. that's why we there want it. both yes yeah. <laughs> i'm planning on double featuring that Great shit double. right give me a long day at the theater but i'm gonna do it right. well what's your favorite of those two types well uh, what is the I three mean, types that's uh you got underwater mm-hmm. versus uh asteroid versus volcano i think underwater uh, probably yeah oh uh, 
I, like I don't Ast- like the volcano. Movies. I like asteroid. I watched Armageddon a lot. Yeah, I like the asteroid. Although I yeah. also watched Volcano a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, really? Oh yeah. That could, hmm. I didn't watch those. For whatever it was, no. it was HBO run mm. where it was on all the time. Anne Haitian. I've seen Dante's that, Peak way more than I've seen Volcano. Is that Tommy Lee Jones? It's yep. Tommy Jones yeah. in Volcano. volcano. Dante's yeah. Peak right, is because, Jaws because, basically because, with the uh, volcano. I don't like Dante's Peak. Yeah. Oh, I like. I always remember the volcano one was just like volcano and all the words disappeared and it was like yeah. LA and it was like oh shit yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I think I like the underwater ones I like Deep okay. Star 6 and yeah. the Biopin and the Abyss um, Michael Whitaker says I watched this movie in the early 90s on VHS at my cousin's house in North Jersey <laughs> I actually don't remember much about it other than it being set underwater in a submarine and my cousin saying the monster look a lot like Audrey 2 <laughs> which well, apparently was a selling point for me go figure <laughs> I'm also fairly sure that we left before we even got to see the monster, so I have no idea oh, no. if that's even remotely true. Oh, I no. mean, that's possible because this is a long time until you see the monster. Yeah, yeah it right, is. Like, really well, it's a slow yeah. burn, yeah. And you don't see a lot of the no, monster when no. you do see no. the monster. It's pretty quick. I think they knew that it was like, this is kind of dodgy, so they cut away from yeah. it as fast as they can. DJ Malka says, yay, I love this movie. No one <laughs> seems to know it, but it's an enjoyable <laughs> underwater monster movie. Always remember to decompress or depressurize or whatever it's called. You'll yes. blow up. Yes. Cheers. Always remember. Always. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, sir. <laughs> and uh, Joey Blythe says, I remember seeing this in the video store all the time. But I've yet to watch it. Oh, I remember well. that. Yeah, I've seen the cover for Now's this all the time. Now's the time, dude. Yeah. Or is it? We'll I'm find out. Uh, <laughs> last week, we watched a movie called Jaws 2. Travis Legler says, I love Sean like a brother from another mother. I love his love of sequels. Exceeds my own. As a kid, I always got excited hearing there was the next story. Jaws 2 did not disappoint. Did you know that Carl Gottlieb, who wrote Jaws, mm-hmm. right, and part of Jaws 2, yes. uh, was an actor in the movie MASH, and he saw a real helicopter crash, so he knew about the tail rotor blades breaking off and flying through the air instead of just a big explosion. You are correct. Overall, mm-hmm. I still see this movie as a lot of fun, and it has a good char- it has good character depth. depth. Good pick, Sean. Oh, thank you. Um, I've actually never watched Mash the movie. I've seen plenty of the show. I know because I have not it, seen Mash the movie. It, it's hard to go back if you know the TV show characters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because Keith Sutherland's thing, yeah. in that, or Donald Donald. Yeah. In, yeah, and a bunch of yeah. It's yeah. He is not Alden, Alan Alda. No. Uh, Maya Madsen says, "Whoa, Colin, I'm pretty sure I saw Jaws two on that same ABC movie of the week presentation." Oh. <laughs> I, I remember watching it with my parents and commercials, and the helicopter bit stuck with me for a long time. That's awesome. Yep. Um. The week before that, we watched Manhunter. Mm-hmm. Owen Johnson says, um, "The it's just you and me now, sport, was the scene that made me fall in love with this movie. It will forever mm-hmm. be in my memory. In regards of which is better, it's Manhunter all the way. Red yes. Dragon doesn't Team hold Sanity. a candle to this. <laughs> then again, I hate Brett Ratner. So I yes. bought the <laughs> Screen Factory Blu-ray of this on eBay for some outrageous amount that I'm not yeah. ashamed of. Plus, it's good. the slipcase is just so chef's kiss. Oh, I love that. Know. Keep it in good condition, please. Yeah, so I look that's forward, worth money. Um, I have acquired my uh, copy of Manhunter from Colin, and I will be watching it. I've been Maybe thinking tonight. I've been thinking about that movie since we watched it. I'm just I'm like excited it to is watch it again. Nested in my brain fully. It's, it's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Zimmerman Bledsoe says, "I think this movie really holds up as the per- perfect '80s cop movie. It's dripping with more cheese than a jostled pizza box, and yet <laughs> it's just got heart, man." <laughs> It Man, does. M A N N. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a that's delightful. That's I cute. I didn't say it on our episode because I f- totally forgot because there's so many cool things to talk about with that movie. But I love the way that movie talks about uh, mental health and the relationships between men. There is a lot of deep uh, conversation about I'm struggling with this and I had to go get yeah. help. And it is progressive as fuck even for nowadays. But yeah. especially when it came out, especially when he's talking to his son, he's like, "Yeah, my brain was broken just like when you break your arm at the hospital. And I had to go and I had to get fixed, and now I'm all better." I'm like, "Yeah, this like is this wild stuff. how progressive this is right yeah. now." It's a lot of men sharing their deep emotions with each other yeah. in that movie. And I love it. Some of them happen to kill people. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. even at like the start of it when it's Farina and yeah, and Pe- Peterson on the log, that yeah. is a two men that love yeah. each other looking out for each other. Yeah, yeah. I love it. But also putting him into harm's way. But also yeah. like, I hate that I have to ask you this, yeah, but I got to do it. Because you're the best, yeah. yeah. Love it, love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he also says uh, it has wild color schemes, beautiful cinematography, and it's a truly unique vision. The soundtrack is so hilarious and, am- and amazing. Seriously, how can you not get jazzed up by Inagaga mm-hmm. Navita? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's the I best. I love Inagaga Navita. 
Oh, spoiler, best use of music in that movie. Uh, what did you guys think about um, William Peterson's very sparkly jacket in that one? Doesn't he have a, like a, a suit jacket that's it's like wool? It's it's wild from what I remember. Maybe oh, wait until you see that. what uh, Dollar Hyde wears. Yeah, okay. Dollar Hyde's got oh. some very he's got some 80s. loud button downs. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. the, the yeah. sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Neil Gum says, "I wonder if I would have liked Manhunter more if I hadn't already seen Silence of the Lambs first. I'll also say the style of Manhunter might have overshadowed some good performances by the actors. I Sounds get like that. he didn't like the style. I." But, uh, I think that it's hard to time? accept Brian Cox when you already know about. Yeah, when Andy you know Hopkins. Anthony, Hopkins. it's really hard. Well, Anthony yeah. Hopkins, and at this point, we've also got Ned Nicholson, yeah. who has done a fantastic job. Mm-hmm. Have you guys watched them? I've seen a little bit. I was yeah. telling them all about yeah. it. Oh my God. But now right. I think I want to watch it now. <laughs> it's fucking yeah. amazing. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Mm-hmm. I want to watch it now. And they adapted Red Dragon in the mm-hmm. third season. Uh, Richard Kratzer says, for some reason, the credits uh, have Lecter listed with the last name Lector, L E C. K T O R instead of L E C T E R. I wonder why they felt the need to change it. Also, putting Tom Noonan in any role is a bad guy, and I'll watch it. That dude mm-hmm. is who Freddy Krueger has nightmares about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If He's nothing creepy else, as look fuck. at what was the name of his character from Last Action Hero. He had a name for oh, his killer when he was in Robocop. Wasn't he the, too? Re- the Grim Reaper? No, he was the oh it's the, right the Ripper. The Ripper. The Ripper. Is it the Ripper? Yeah, the Ripper. it's the Ripper. The Ripper. Yeah, 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 the yeah. Ripper. yeah. That toy. Can't hurt the boy. You know. <laughs> but this one can. <laughs> Sean, uh, Holly and I, when we were watching Manhunter, I know you weren't oh. here, but we both said out loud at a certain point, I think I'm turned off of sex. Because there was a scene in that movie <laughs> yeah. that was so uncomfortable yeah. that I think, like, it You, uh, it you just gave me. up sex? That was I, it. I, <laughs> it, it, it made it sound very unpleasant yeah. for quite a while. Wow. So, all yeah, right. Yeah. That, that's my review. Manhunter made me asexual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> I, I'll, I'll come back with put, my findings. Put that poll quote on the, D, on the Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Find out why. I hope we'll hear <laughs> Saturday Night Freak Show. Yeah. Sean's take on Manhunter <laughs> next week, then. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. stay tuned. That's funny. All right, now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Deep Star Six, starting with... Michaela. Before I say anything, uh, I, I want to go back to one thing. Uh-huh. Um, Miguel Ferrar had some great lines yeah. in this movie. Uh, w- what was the one I wanted to bring back up? Oh. Well, pardon my ass all the way to hell? Yeah, that, that was it. That was I, a good like, one. He had some good ones, and <laughs> that, that was, was one I was like, <laughs> yeah. I need to remember that. Yeah, pardon that was good. All the way to hell. <laughs> like, he <laughs> delivered it great. That was um, a good one. Yep. Yeah. All right, that's it. Michaela, what did you think about Deep Star Six? You know, aquatic horror. I, I, <laughs> I, you haven't called it yet, which is great. Aquatic yeah. horror. Aquatic it's, horror. It is its own subgenre. And it, it, I like it, but it's also insanely repetitive. Like, there's only like there two are, things you can do. Yeah. It's either a shark movie or like a movie like this, right? You know, and um, that's kind of a knock against it because it does put you in a certain mindset of like predictability. But that being said, I actually really enjoyed this movie. And um, I do think it suffers from not having any legit real deal stars in this movie. Um, I, w- you know, if they wanted to remake this movie, I'd be all for it because that'd be great. I think, I think, I mean, it clearly has a big budget. The models are very charming and very cute. And like, yeah, I, there was a couple parts where you see like, it's just like ships kind of like docking on each other and mm-hmm. stuff happening with the models. And that reminded me of, you know, how in Denny Villeneuve's Dune, you just see so much of spaceships landing and docking. Like that's yeah. so much of that movie and it happens mm-hmm. so slow. Yeah. But like when you're watching, you're just kind of like, wow, wow. You, like, you, can enjoy, yeah. you can enjoy it. Like it's almost, it's, it's like, like watching it's, a screensaver. It's, like a it's delightful. Ballet. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. And it's so cute. It's almost like Wes Anderson did it. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. It, it, it's like when you uh, find, uh, when you're doing a puzzle and you find a piece that fits. Yes. Right? It's like, it's that feeling. Yeah. But when, you know, when you have these connections, because you, uh, who doesn't love a scene where it's just like, all right, watch it. Yeah. Watch yeah. it. All right. And like, we're in. Yep. That was yeah. what was wrong with 2001, right? Yeah. Which is the king of like yeah. the slow, like docking sequences. Yeah. But they didn't have the guy going like. You have to have a narrator. Yeah. yeah you have tense, to have a narrator. Like, okay, you got it. Yeah. Down, yeah. Down, down, yeah. Down, down, it's like, I got it. I got it. But then and Interstellar was a lot of that too. There was yeah, a lot yeah. of that Interstellar. But it's these and, cute yeah. little models that you're just like, all right, now, yeah, kiss. now, yeah, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Click. It's like little Legos that click together yeah, right. very nicely. And I had never seen this movie before, so I didn't know what it was about. Um, but I had, I'm not gonna lie, I had seen the poster a lot, and I had shelved this DVD a lot in all my jobs. I remember Barnes and Noble constantly putting this in the five dollar yep. bin, and. I honestly, from the artwork, Sean, I also never noticed the guy was in half. Never noticed that. And no no offense, based on the title and the artwork, I thought this was like a dad submarine movie. I kind of did too, which you is know, why I didn't know what fair. we were getting yeah. to. I'm like, which is like, this? I was like, that's this sounds like a sleepy movie, you know? Yeah, right. but but 
Thankfully, it's not a dab, <laughs> dead submarine movie. Thankfully, a guy got movie. bit in half yeah. at a certain point <laughs> yeah. and it went from there. <laughs> exactly. So um, I'm going to recommend it because there was enough fun stuff and enough cool stuff and enough like like tension and drama to really propel the story forward. I didn't feel like it was really slow or boring in any parts. I was thoroughly engaged with it. I Like I said, I just wish I had a little star power and a little charm to it. But um, that being said, the actors do do a good job with their given, and I feel for them for this. She just seems mm-hmm. awful. Yes. But uh, I, yeah, I would recommend it. I had a good time with it. Um, I think, though, your mileage may vary depending on how you feel about Aquatic Horror, because like I said, there's not a ton of story available right. there. Or how many space yeah. movies? You've yeah, seen. yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, obviously, this is something I had seen before, but I appreciated the way it was delivered. So mm-hmm. I'm going to recommend it. Sean, what do you think? Uh, uh- Michaela, I, I pretty much can't say it better than that. I think, you've, I, I think you've nailed it, and I think we've pretty much nailed it. Um, you're, you, I, I think you are going to see uh, a lot of similar stuff that you've seen before, if space movies, deep sea movies, and all that stuff. Um, and it's not like a hit it out of the park type movie, but it is like you can do familiar things, but if you do them pretty well, like you're good, and you get a pass for me. Yep. Um, I was questioning. <laughs> so it's the same theme. Like you're not A, you're not B. But you're a solid C. Yeah. yeah you're solid. You're still passing the class. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, you're good, like I, you know what? I, I, you're I'm, not in danger I've of losing before, your grade point average. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and until the guy got bitten in half, I didn't know what we were getting from this movie. Mm-hmm. But when that happened, um, things started coming together and going a little faster, which was nice. But again, a uh, lot of lights, a lot of switches, a lot of, fi- <laughs> there were files in this movie. Mm-hmm. There's, a lot of of, files. there's a lot of atmosphere that will take you a long way in this movie. And mm-hmm. I liked it. And I'm going to recommend this movie because again, it may seem a little familiar, but it's fun. Uh, may not make a whole lot of sense the whole way through, but Hey, I think you'll still have a good time with this. So I will recommend deep star six. Colin, what do you think? I think I'm going to echo like what you guys yeah. have said. I mean, it's basically, yeah, it's the same thing. They, it, uh, it follows very familiar beats. Um, it's low budget. You feel that in, in a lot of it, you know, but I appreciated, I guess like the way I was just watching it was like watching these actors, you know, uh, act against nothing, but they were conveying exactly what the, the story was supposed to be doing. And it was kind of like, uh, propulsive. I mean, there was because there was always something happening. I mean, this is like a good uh, plot framework to hang all these movies on. There's a disaster, and then it gets worse. There's another disaster, and then another disaster, and then there's a monster in it. You know, um, there's a good five minutes where they have to stop a pipe leak. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was and, just like, yeah, stop yeah, that pipe yeah. leak. Yeah, and that's where they were shouting Giant all the, the and jargon, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. they're pulling this off really well because you got to like st- turn it on sector three or section three, and right. you know, they're like talking what to the each f- other to con- to get all that shit done, yeah. which is nice. Which is they're just shouting like what they're saying like doesn't even matter. It's how they're doing it. Those yeah. are like those are the great like actor yep. showcase yeah. moments <laughs> because I bought it. Yep. Like yeah. they know what 100%. they're talking about. I don't know what the fuck this is, but they <laughs> at least know what it is um i appreciated the kind of low-tech effects um i didn't really like the monster i think the monster is like the worst part of this movie like this is kind of what Might you be. hold against it is like all right it looks like this big you know <laughs> crab thing it's not very well articulated mm-hmm. um but i really liked i like the people and i like the that there's humanity uh in it kind of you know i mean this is not an Oscar uh, movie, but there's enough and, you know, the, it kind of resonates. So um, I really liked it. Um, I like it more than I liked uh, Leviathan, mm. which is similar. But I think I like even though Leviathan has more recognizable people that has like Peter Weller and Richard Crenna mm. and Hector Elizondo. And, uh, you know, um, this one, I just I like these people more. And uh, if you like this kind of movie. Uh, I think they are still making it, and there there was a movie called Life, uh, yeah. with Jake Gyllenhaal right, and, and Ryan Reynolds, mm-hmm. yeah, and Underwater would be the two yeah. I would recommend. Like, if you like Deep Star Six, you should see both of those because it's basically like the bigger budget m- modern version of those movies. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, so I would recommend that you check out Deep Star. Well, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, you know what you're getting in for. I'm like, why are you backing out? Yeah. I'm not. Like, I'm just this, making right? sure. Yeah, well, yeah. I, but it's a nostalgia thing. Well, I mean, sure. like, I saw it in the theater and liked it, and so I still have it. Does it hold up now? Again, it's going to be familiar. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's... Did I you think have a good time with it? I did because then I you think recommend it, it, it is right? well done for what they had to work yes. with. Yeah. So, Holly, what did you think? 
I hate it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Deep I'm Star kidding. sucks more like it. <laughs> I bet, Sean, Sean, go to Letterboxd and write a review That's and just so put that. Cute. Yeah. I was gonna, that may have been a headline. That might go viral, yeah. That might have been a negative review for this movie at some point. Yeah. Probably. Is that sucks S-U-X, right? Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Like Robocop, the 6,000 S-U-X. Yep. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, I, I, think we, I think we all said it. You know, obviously, if you've seen... Alien, if you've seen The Abyss, then you've seen this movie done better. But that's not, that doesn't fucking matter. Like, mm-hmm. that's not what we're here for. We're here for watching a movie that's fun. You know, that's what we do. And this is a fun movie. Um, it's, yeah, I, I wish the monster was better, for sure. I wish there was more star power in this, for sure. Um, but it's still a good watch. It's still a fun time. And like we said, there's something about the way they're communicating with each other. I believe these people are coworkers. Yeah, I believe they've I been really... stuck down there for six months. <laughs> yes. The, way... oh my God, staging. the staging, the way they like, because the yeah. scenes roll for a while. Yeah. They're in a room with each yeah. other for a yeah. while. You know, fires start. We got to put those yeah. out. We got to mm-hmm. do this over yeah. here. Yeah, the editing's really good. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what they're talking about, but I believe it. I believe what they're doing. Even like they're casual conversations with each other i believe these people are with each other all day every day um so yeah i i, I like this movie i think it's a good time um yeah you're gonna see something better but it, i just i don't care it's fun so yeah i'm gonna recommend it all right well that sounds like that's a consensus also kane thing. hotter did the stunt he choreography did. for this that's so cool oh yeah so that yeah uh we didn't Cutting really him, mention harry manfredini yeah so yeah. what what we think Jason of universe. uh of harry manfredini's score i liked it i liked it thought it was good <laughs> yeah. better than the, i would expect from him yeah it really was because uh, i've heard uh a few of him where it co- encompasses a little too much friday the 13th mm-hmm. it's in this score mm-hmm. but high. this score is <laughs> oh yeah slaughter high yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this score is really bad way better and it's yeah yeah, it's more, there is a certain type of, and it probably comes from uh, John Williams and Jaws and people aping that and everything, but there's a certain sort of, um, I don't know what to call it, about scoring a movie in water. There's a certain yeah. type oh, of magic yeah. in the yeah, yeah, yeah. in the sound, too. There's, yeah. Like, a lot of tinkling. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, like harps. There's a, there's yeah. a whimsy yeah, yeah. to it. Yes, there is to yeah. that. But then, then you can turn that whimsy into you know, Fright. frightening yeah. stuff. <laughs> yes. So yeah. That was nice. His, you always said this is one of the best I, scores. I think it is yeah. his best so. score. For you know, because sure. like he went to shit. Like uh, this is eighty nine. <laughs> yeah, Jason goes oh, to yeah. hell is one of the worst scores I think <laughs> that he ever did. But uh, yeah, and that's only a good. couple of years later. But this one was pretty good. Yep. Uh, so you're ob- you're contractually obligated by listening to this show yep. to watch this movie yep. because we all recommended it. Yes. So uh, there you go. Next week we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Michaela. Take us to land. <laughs> <laughs> what are we watching next? Dry week? land is not a myth. Okay, yes. I've Dry seen it. <laughs> um, all right. So, summer slaycation is making Ooh. a stop in the Bahamas with I Still Know What You Did. Yes! 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 I was gonna. This is on my list. All I was right. gonna bring it. Yes! Right, yeah. Yay! I'm very happy. I'm so mm-hmm. excited about this. This one's more fun. Yes. Yeah, all right. Well, we're you're gonna have to Fear tune tanning in. Bells. Yeah, Tanny Bed Death. It's yeah. Coming out on 4K this summer. Is it really? It awesome. Is. Oh, Jaws 2 is timely because it just came out of 4K this yeah. week, I think. We're doing uh, like. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Uh, all right. So the freak we, show doing the Lord's work. That's yes. right. <laughs> we hope you'll join us next week. For I still know what you did last summer. Mm-hmm. But until Longest then, movie title ever. <laughs> <laughs> what was the third one? I'll, I'll always know what you did last summer. summer. We'll yeah. speak of it yeah. Yeah. next week. <laughs> the TV Canadian show. spinoff. Yep. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, the basement is going dark.